Okay. Now I remember what I need to do. And um, it's going to be incredibly boring, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And then I'll get back to show you what. Once you see why, I'm just going to stop the recording until I'm done. Everybody's charging. Everybody's charging. This is the Opiomorph, by the way. She spent a lot of time um, just wasting her turn. Not uh, much else to say about that. But this is why. Wave number four, Devastator Ether Attack. This is an attack... That... Does no damage. As long as you don't hit her. So I'm going to take this opportunity to get back f to, f to full heal... Is that for her? For me? I think it's for her. I'm going to take this opportunity to get back to full fuel, full health, all that good stuff. This could take me a while, so I'm going to do this off screen. Okay, I did a bit of repairing, bit of charging. Don't have everybody to full as I thought I would because this is just taking too damn long. So, I got everybody to at least 2,000 fuel. Got everybody to at least 12,500 HP, and I hope this is going to be able to do it because Miang's only attack is that Devastator Ether attack which only goes based off what damage you've dealt to it so basically the idea is to deal as much damage as quickly as you can to Miang so we're gonna need booster for this everybody gets a booster everybody everybody gets a booster and then you go for system id which consumes a thousand HP or sorry a thousand fuel that is the main reason that I needed as much fuel as I got. Once again, why the rainbow? Why, why the rainbow? You boost her again? Or, well, you boost her. Okay, you go for the light attack. Now, the reason that I'm going for the light attack is because I do believe that it is based on... Um, on damage and not by how much damage by how many times it's actually hit. So let's go for Kishin. You know, I'm just gonna go for my most powerful spawn on Fed. 6,500 damage there. And try to get everybody up to, to level 3 where I can unleash a big attack. Uh, every time you hit me, I'm defense up, either attack up also. Uh, this is This is gonna get this is gonna get hairy here. Ah, I hit X. That's okay. Hopefully we can get these guys up to a proper proper attack level so I can get a good death blow in. Let's go ahead and use X, why not? We'll try it. Just try to get as much damage in right now as we can. Another five hundred damage. Defense up. Ether attack up also. Of course, of course. And wasted turn. Awesome. Go, Kishin! Yeah, Opiomorph uh, doesn't always attack. Yang is kind of lazy. I don't under always understand it. But go, Kishin! Another 6,300 damage. Uh. Defense up. Either attack up also. Yeah, this battle goes slow. It doesn't help any that... Uh, it's lagging. And there's nothing I can do about it. I apologize for that, but I've tried everything I can think of, and it just lags, man. I, I, I believe it is the emulator's fault. There's there's nothing more that can be done to try to fix that. Alright, we're up to lo level 2 on the Fenrir. Go, Fenrir. Ooh, miss. Nice. That, that is actually good, believe it or not. I think. Go, Kishin! Another 6,000 damage. Once again, every time defense goes up, well, the numbers go down, what do you want me to say? Then defense up. Ah, fuck. Okay, how much damage is this going to do? Is this going to wipe us out? I don't think it is. I don't think it is so powerful. Especially since we have all the ether defense upgrade. No! Sweet! Okay. Ether attack rises up. What? That's not true. Okay. Another 361 damage. And then Faye's gonna go in 
out of fuel. Yes, I, I fully understand. Uh, blocked. But it's okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting to where we need to be. Go Fenrir! Um, I should mention that all the other gears can go into attack level infinity as well. Basically what you do is you keep attacking when you're at attack level 3, and there's a chance that it goes into level infinity. However, I want to use level 3 death block. Go Kenjin! Another 3500 damage in. And that is for the win! Down goes the Opiomorph! My, aren't we powerful? Yeah, that, that battle takes, well, longer than it should, but it's easy if, if you know the trick, which is just to charge and fuel up beforehand and all that good stuff. We get 63,000 EXP. I do have the Trader card equipped on Faye, just for the record, because that does increase the drop rate of the good items. Level up for Billy, and that is a very good item, the Executor Gown. We also get 50,000 gold! Awesome! And I bet there's more cutscenes after this. There's never not cutscenes after a double boss fight. What kind of awesome cutscenes do you have for me now, game? <laughs> well then, let's start over from the beginning again. You think you can beat me this time? What the? I thought I defeated you! I thought we did too. Unless you can decompose her atomic structure, you don't stand much of a chance. Normal attacks are futile against one who has the ability to regenerate using nanomachines. Well, fuck. Yang's got nanomachines in her. Does she also have quantum? Just saying. Really, game, just nanomachines. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Now machines are a big part of this plot. Now, the time has come for the Great Awakening! Arr. I'm getting torn apart! It is our Omni Gears! What? Not the Omni Gears! That thing! That thing is trying to eat us all! Damn! What's going on? Huh? Hey, is that. That's everybody else! Our Omni... No, that's not it! Is that... Our Animal Relics? Is it trying to detach the Animal Relics from our Omni Gears? I bet it is. Deus is swallowing up our Animal Relics! No! Don't do it, Deus! We don't taste good! Ah, he ate them! He swallowed them whole. I think they kind of just, like, ghosted their way inside. They no-clipped their way inside, to use computer terminology. What's going on? My Omni Gear! It's not moving! I think it's dead. This is the true meaning of the animal relics. To attain their respective animus and return to the persona. The animal relics are really one set of parts that make up Deus, the physical manifestation of God. They regain their original powers or functions by aligning themselves with their destined partner. An Omni Gear that has lost its respective animal relic is but a puppet. It becomes a mere vessel or a container in which there are no contents. And this girl was too des and this girl too was destined to become one with God. You see, El Yihim is really one of the parts of God as well. What the hell are you talking about? Put simply, you serve to help bring all the parts of God together here for me. You're a bunch of stupid fools. It's as if you're all clowns. You believed the legend of how our world and the universe was created, but the ministry and I fabricated that very myth a long time ago to suit our purposes. Wait, Miang, you're ten thousand years old too? Seriously? That's a lie. How can that be true? I think you'll find that your friends' Omni Gears are all dead, too. I'm talking about your friends who split up and took a different path than you into this place. They were all parts of God that were disassembled in the past, but once again are all gathered here. Yes, it is indeed the time for the resurrection of God. What was it all for? 
everything I have done up until now. What was it for? I only helped them. Ramses! Oh, it's just you. What are you doing here, Carr? What about me? My existence? What was its purpose? There was only one purpose to your existence. To eliminate Emperor Cain. Cain's will had become too much like that of humans. He was too concerned about them. He had forgotten his mission to revive God. That is why you were created. You were only made to remove our main hindrance, Cain. But, as the original living being, Cain had absolute power. To make you turn on Cain was necessary to focus your mind on a single point. However, being an artificial life form, you are mentally unstable. That is why we used Faye's existence. Resentment. That is the source of your strength. And you have excelled superbly at fulfilling our expectations of you. But we no longer have any more use for you. Haven't you realized that yet? You're a piece of trash. And being the reject that you are, why don't you just leave? <laughs> aye. Aye. What was I born for? What was I living for? A pathetic excuse for a life. Why, you aren't even human. <laughs> oh, they're so mean to Ramses. Now, what to do with a lot of you? Well, I can't just kill you all, seeing as you have served me so well. So, as a reward, I'll allow you to be sacrificed too, to be assimilated into Deus along with this girl. Oh, Ramses out of nowhere! And he just stands on it. Good. This is how I wanted it, Car. I am fated so as not to be able to kill myself. Now. Oh. My wishes. 